lionfish culling container 101. Um, you're gonna need to start. You're gonna need a five gallon bucket with lid. Um, I got that from Masters, but you can get them at Gorms and the paint company as well. You're gonna need some zip ties. I happen to get these from Masters. You're gonna need a funnel of some sort. This one's already made up. It's a zookeeper funnel. I got it from Making Waves, around six bucks, I think. And that's what you're gonna need to start. Okay, tools you're gonna need to start. You're gonna need a pen, you're gonna need an X-Acto knife, you're gonna need scissors, you're gonna need a drill with a medium-sized drill, but I don't know what size that is, and eventually you're gonna need a way to pump up uh, the tire, but we'll get to that later. Take your zookeeper funnel, put it on top of the lid carefully, and you're gonna draw a circle around it. Circle drawn, and you noticed I made some little marks where the uh, holes in the funnel are that will line up to the holes you're gonna drill in the lid. So take that off and that's kind of what you end up with. And then you're gonna take your X-Acto knife and you're gonna cut around the red line carefully as not to cut anything you wanna use later off. Okay, once you've done that, a little bit is just gonna pop out. And now you don't need that anymore. And there's the hole ready for your funnel. Now you're gonna drill some holes in the top where you marked. Okay, your holes are drilled. Don't make them too close to the edge or you run the risk of the, uh, basically pulling the zip tie through the hole and breaking this little bit here. Okay, thread your um, zip ties through the lid. I do it from the back so that when you zip tie them shut, you don't have any stuff sitting on the top. It's gonna look pretty colorful. The other thing to do around this time um, is to remove this little bit here. Um, this will allow you to get the lid on and off a lot easier. It just breaks off. So it just breaks off like that and just pull it off and throw that thing away as well. Okay, put your funnel underneath the lid. Um, start feeding the zip ties through like that and get them all loosely tightened. Don't tighten them all the way just yet. All right, you now got your zip ties attached to your funnel. Um, it's kind of loosely on there. Now start to tie, pull the zip ties tight from opposite sides. You're trying to basically make so that the funnel fits as evenly as it possibly can inside of your hole. All right, you now got that good and tight. Um, all zip tied in, ready to go. And just take your scissors and cut all these things off. Okay, the next thing you want to do is you want to drill some holes in the bottom of the bucket to let the water drain out. Um, you don't want to make too big of holes. You don't want to make them too close together. Um, I'll drill some holes in the bottom and then I'll drill some holes around the sides just so water can get out and you don't end up towing around a giant heavy water filled bucket. Holes drilled. You can see them around there. You can see them around the sides. Did a bunch of them. Now, as far as the construction part, you're kind of done. Um, there's your lid, all done. Put on top. When you're going out, make sure the lid's clicked down nice and tight. There's no reason to get your hands anywhere near the lionfish, so you're not going to get stuck. And I'll show you on the video, but you just shove them in there, pull them out, and then you're, you're good to go. This is how I drag my um, device through the water, shall we say. Um, this is an inner tube cover for making waves. Um, it's about 30 bucks. This is an MR1415 inner tube. I'm um, yet from any of the tire stores. I wanna say they're about 20 bucks or so. Um, this is, uh, I get polypropylene line. It floats, which is kind of nice. Um, stainless steel shackle, two pound dive weight. I got that from, from Making Waves as well. Um, you can zip tie it on. I decided to use uh, a little stainless steel wire with some crimps. <clears throat> Attach that to the bottom. This braided nylon here with a stainless steel clip I use to secure the bucket inside the whole apparatus once um, we're in the water. As you saw, I had partially inflated the tire. Um, it fits inside there. And then you're going out. You'll stick your bucket in there. You'll click that on there. And then essentially you're ready to go out line fishing. Um, I will carry that in my hand the whole unravel the poly pro the line will go behind me and and that's how we collect the lionfish that we catch when we're out free diving happy diving